my title had nothing to do with this logo of the company. In fact, I didn't even remember that there was a, such a logo. My title, an incomplete life, had much to convey about my life. It was trying to explain in what way my life has been incomplete. I have written very little about it in my book by saying that every person to complete his life needs an association with his grandkids, not necessarily his kids, which has been denied to me. My grandkids have been forbidden to see me. It has nothing to do with the logo of the company. In fact, I swear to you, I did not even remember that there was a title, logo of an, com a complete man. But once you talk about it, of course I remember it. But it had nothing to do with that, because the subject is not the same. A complete man, from Raymond's point of view, is to define that the clothing that we are providing you make you a complete man. That is, my book has nothing to do with clothing. My book has to do with my life. No father would expect to be treated the way I am being treated. Nobody would. Even you wouldn't. Doesn't matter how tolerant you are, how understanding you are, how responsible you are, you would never expect to be treated the way I have been treated by my son. He prefers to live in a 36-story building alone. And he promised this to me in writing and my two nephews that he will give us accommodation there of the same size as we had in the old JK house. What happened? I never expected a Singhania to behave like this. And that also my son. That's what makes my life incomplete. I have written that in my book also. I have addressed it to parents that, gentlemen, if you want to love your children and you want to give them happiness or money or whatever, by all means do it in your lifetime. But what you will give them beyond their immediate requirements, presumably after your death. Don't give it today. Put it in your will. They will get it after you are dead. They won't be able to put you on the road. So this is my advice to you. My experience of my life. Never give what ought to be given after your life during your life, because then you are left with nothing.